So My Little Universe is a very fun, relaxing, creative game that is right around the corner for the Nintendo Switch and Steam as it is out October 5th. However, you can hop into the eShop and download a free demo right now that I've been having a ton of fun with and we're going to walk through some live gameplay together in this video. And as I got through the initial opening moments of this game, I started to become more and more hooked. There's something very satisfying about the way that you need to collect resources, then go to upgrade various different weapons and items, fend off from enemies that try to attack you during your resource gathering, and you don't quite know which direction to go, but as you continue to build out your island or universe, it really starts to open up with a ton of different possible directions. And when it comes to having a chill, fun game to boot up and play through, I think this is gonna be one at the top of my list. So with that, let's hop into some live gameplay together. What's up, nation? Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your bell notification if you haven't already. And as mentioned, guys, today we are taking a look at the My Little Universe demo that you can hop into on the eShop and download yourself right now. I do have a link in the description. Make sure you use that to download it. But I'm excited to walk through some of the gameplay of this game with you guys because I honestly have been having a ton of fun with it. And I was very excited to get the opportunity to do a sponsored video for this game ahead of its official release. And we're going to kind of hop right into a few different different aspects that I have to talk you guys through because this land started out a lot smaller than what it is now and I will demonstrate that here in just a second we also have a couple um, upgrades to our weapons already you will notice it's very easy to go around and get various different resources if I want wood I'm going to walk up to trees and my axe will actually auto start swinging however you do have upgrade options like my sword which I need three more coins so I'm going to get those from killing some crabs along the way but you will start to see these white blocks as you progress through your island and it will need various different resources in order to um which by the way if i want to switch right to my sword uh you can you can switch through your different weapons manually um it will try to prompt to auto do it but i find just to hit b whenever a crab is on their way and then it will quickly switch to my sword to actually hit them with a attack um not to mention there is a pretty nice charge attack that you can do uh to basically uh do more damage and or hit more resources all around you but you'll kind of see the auto shift back and forth between various different enemies i'm assuming if i get out there i may have i may not even have to do anything else before we're fighting this big guy and so you will have a number of different enemies that kind of come in and essentially stress you out a little bit but for the most part i've been really relaxed during this game uh, although we did just take our first death there from the crab um and there's a lot of different stuff to walk through this gameplay loop because uh, as you met as you may probably see right now i am currently on fire um Wood is the easiest resource to come by, uh, but really what we want to do with the kind of resources is it's a two-part thing. So if I need planks and I have wood, well, I can use however much of that I want to make into planks. Planks you will need for various different things. If I want to upgrade my axe right now, I need uh, 30 planks, 15 steel, and 45 azurite, which I didn't find azurite till later on. It did take some time. Like I said, this island starts off like incredibly small. Um, now there's something called sulfur that I have not actually even seen yet, but you want to upgrade your weapons or uh, your resource gatherers rather like your axes, uh, your pickaxe and your wood, uh, wood cutting axe alike earlier rather than later. Um, I could technically save up enough Azerite and open up the main gate that we will get to uh, hopefully pretty soon here for you guys so I can kind of showcase what that looks like. But uh, it's not so much that you have to be super strategic and worry about not being able to find more resources because from what I can tell, everything replenishes uh, relatively quickly. Uh, also want to mention before we get too much deeper into these gameplay loop and mechanics, um, there is full on co-op with this game, which I don't have an extra player to um, check out that with. But as you can see, you can essentially just join in split screen co-op and actually play uh, with another player. And there's also, I'm assuming, various different skins and character looks that you can unlock. Um, this is something, though, that just initial impressions. Uh, when I first started it up, I was oddly satisfied with uh, gathering resources and kind of uh, seeing the island continue to grow and unfold. And 
full transparency, uh, I am more drawn to games that are like intensely difficult a lot of times. And so this might have not been one that I checked out on my own at first glance, but I, I mean, I am honestly glad that I did. This is something that I can see when I don't feel like having some kind of stressful gameplay loop, but I want to chill, sit back and relax. The perfect type of game for that. Also the perfect game for Nintendo Switch because um, I have played some of this game in handheld mode and it looks absolutely fantastic on an OLED display. Um, we will continue to build out the island here because as you can see, uh, rather than just kind of grinding out the resources that you have on any given one part of the island, I feel like it's a kind of more beneficial to go explore what else is around the corner because you will find bigger resource piles potentially of what you are looking for uh, than just staying in one stagnant spot and trying to um, unlock like the big area because I will go back before we go through that travel area because I'm kind of excited to see what that has to offer. Um, I will actually go back and show you guys what kind of opened up first that I've been keeping my eye on this entire time, which is this portal right here. I'm assuming this may kind of get us out of the initial uh, tutorial or beginning of the game type of area, if you will. Uh, it's really straightforward and self-explanatory. You're not gonna have to worry about a steep learning curve with this game by any means. Um, we could try to go take out that King Crab again, but I think before we do that, we will just go ahead and uh, let, let's build this forward. And then let's see what this travel thing is all about, because this is, uh, you're gonna see some, some real reaction right now because that that is news to me that you can just go to an entirely different place so now we are underwater which i'm assuming there's going to be different resources we've never seen uh, up to this or i have never seen up to this point in time um it looks like we are kind of in the same island but maybe just underneath it kind of like in a cave type of area and um we let's see what we need for this we do have enough uh, I'll tell you, you will start to get to a point where you feel like you have all the resources you need. And then, oh, wow, we have 250 um, of our blocks there that we needed. That is that that's actually really good because you will get to a point where you feel like you have a ton. But then whenever it starts to come to build out the island like this, you quickly lose a lot of those resources, which is why I say upgrade your equipment earlier rather than later, because um, it does tend to make a big difference. Uh, we will try to not die. OK, so see, we do. There is a little bit of stress to this game. Not going to lie. Um, this is that brand new material that um, I'm forgetting the name of sulfur uh, that that we saw pop up and so now i can get plenty of this and i wish i would have upgraded my pickaxe before coming down here um i believe i just did the wood cutting axe which i don't need for underneath this part um it looks like there's uh maybe a potential key over there um but this game considering that it's got a free demo and it has as much gameplay as it does so far. I'm definitely going to recommend you guys to check it out. I mean, at the very least, download it and see if it's up your alley or not, because I can see this one getting pretty fun. I'll be curious to see if there's bigger enemies and boss fights. I'm sure there are. Uh, let's try to pull off a charge attack here with this guy. And that that just completely demolished the shark. Now, of course, he's going to um, respawn. So that might be an issue. So it looks like this is going to tell us kind of where the key is. And we're already going to be putting our new sulfur to work. Uh, see, again, you feel like you have a lot of resources getting up close to 100. And then uh, we're quickly right uh, back to 44 which we may or may not have enough to kind of get through the last part and see if we can yes we can we can one shot him with that and we're getting five coins the whole time which um i believe i needed for my um for my sword upgrade uh which again this is what see, i see i should have upgraded some of the stuff before i came down here and we're already out of the resource that we need here so that we need more sulfur so we will go back um and you know what i mean the underwater aspect was something I didn't even realize that we were going to be talking about. Um, my understanding is, is that this game has a ton of different environments for you to kind of traverse through and enjoy. Uh, but what I'm most excited about is kind of how it all links together and uh, how you really don't know what you're going to find until you build out that portion of the island. You can kind of do a um, a double, uh, a double like kill two birds with one stone here too when you take out the shark. Uh, I just did a charge attack, but then I also got a ton of resources all at once with the sulfur that we're trying to get anyway. So uh, we'll get this key down here. And then I think what we're going to do next is go back up and do some upgrades to our equipment because as you can see, uh, a lot of the what you have to kind of worry about is these stronger enemies down here that guy is definitely stronger than than ones on the surface uh, there's there's good reason to try to do your upgrades first and now this looks like a bigger shark than what we've had before uh, and i should have switched to my sword there first and we're, there we go 
Um, ton, tons and tons of sulfur. That's good. Oh, we get, see a little, you got to look for these bonus boxes because you just, we just got a hundred of them all at once. And, uh, we're going to quickly rack up to 200 plus, which is great. That's what we need. Um, so a lot of reason. I'm glad we came through this cave before we really worried uh, too much about, you know, where the sulfur was. Um, I still don't know what happens whenever we open that portal. So we got to figure that out because I'm assuming uh, we may go to a whole different uh, universe area at that point. Um, the gameplay loop, from what I can tell, is really... Uh, you have to you have to be smart about collecting resources, upgrading your items, uh, doing it early on and exploring the new parts of the island. And I just wouldn't uh, I wouldn't waste too much time in one area because how you can kind of see here, I could hang back and try to get more of everything before I progress. But a lot of times you're going to find what you want to find um, just by progressing, unless if you run out of what you need, then you will, of course, have to go back. Um, and here's our key. So uh, we will now go back here and we have a little boss fight going on. So we're going to get Get stressed um, because I don't want to die here um, if at all possible we do have that gold um, uh, pile which let's try to uh, well let's see he's gonna probably attack us if we just focus all entirely on this so let's see if we can do this without dying here guys this is gonna be a little bit uh, risky a little bit dangerous um, we will whoops we pulled up our little quick menu here um, if you just tap X that is what allows you to switch between your uh, your weapon uh, it seems it, it does tend to auto do it but it's still something that's worth doing instead of like using my pickaxe which isn't going to do as much damage to this guy um, and we did unfortunately die so I wonder if it's going to respawn us uh, kind of by the beginning of this cave area which is not too big of a setback uh, we will still get to where we need to go um, in fact, I wonder I wonder if we want to go fight that boss again or if we should just go ahead and go straight through the the key door on the way. Um, we will we will probably go back and try to fight him because I wonder if that uh, how rare those the gold chest was over there that we might might have wanted to get. Um, auto combat really intuitive really fun um i wish i did have some kind of health at the or like a quicker health recharge at this point because as you can see i get real close to death each time so uh we probably will give my health a little bit to recharge before we go attack that we'll get some resources in the meantime uh and it's pretty cool to do that charge attack you literally knock out so much at once um you can kind of choose how you want to do it if you just want to do it one by one one swing at a time um or if you want to like go in for the charge attack and kind of take everything on all at once uh, so let's see if we can get this guy here. There we go. And the bigger question is, is whether or not we should have upgraded our sword before we came down here to fight this big skeleton. Uh, what we may do, we may actually do that. We may upgrade the sword and then come back down here um, because I'm thinking that that's going to be a better idea than trying to fight him uh, in our current state, especially because we have to fight some enemies along the way. And these guys can tend to be a little bit tough to get away from. Um, there's probably a better strategy than what I'm doing. So yeah, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to use our key. Then we're going to go, um, we're going to use our key, going to go back up after we use our key and then we'll upgrade the sword and then worry about whatever else is down here. Um, because there's no, there's no rules that says we have to do this now. Um, and I did get completely turned around here. Uh, so let's go, let's go use this key that we found. That'll be step number two. All right, let's try to avoid death this time. If we can, please, Mr. Shark, sir. Okay, we're not doing too great. Let's switch to my sword. Ah, you know, you know, sometimes it's just, it's just how it goes. Somehow, sometimes you just have to, you have to take some L's before you can actually go through and be victorious. But what I am going to do is be a little bit more strategic and do my charge attack ahead of time. Because, see, if you can get that charge attack built up, um, that is that is worth doing. Um, I will tell you that. Because, uh, especially with these larger enemies, uh, they, they, they don't really hold back at all. And it looks like this is just going to be a whole new path. So I'm almost tempted... I'm almost tempted to go do the upgrading first, and then we're going to come back down here. And in fact, uh, just because we've only seen a little bit of the underwater portion of the game so far... Um, or we've been spending, a, I guess, a decent amount of time down here now. Uh, ooh, is this kind of a secret area? I don't think, I think that that's exactly what that is. I, I totally missed that on my way in here, so that's pretty cool. Um, but I think we, I, I kind of want to figure out what that portal was at the very beginning of the game that I saw this whole time, too. So, 
This game really opens up as you as you kind of stay in it and you and you see more of what it has to offer. Like you start getting, do I want to go in this direction or that direction? And it's really enjoyable. I will say that the gameplay loop is surprisingly enjoyable from what I was kind of expecting. But I am going to show you guys the weapon upgrades now. We're going to do that first before anything else. And as you can see, like those crabs above island, you know, because I kind of those are your I guess early game enemies. They're really not any kind of threat, but um, skeletons and sharks down there on the other hand, that it's worth uh, being being worried about okay so we are going to upgrade our pickaxe but we also need to upgrade our sword um and i wonder 125 sulfur 50 steel uh we're, we're so close to being able to get the next one um but i'm not going to worry about the next one on either one of those until uh until we get our sword at the very bare minimum oh which by the way you're sometimes you're just going to find steel but there's also situations where you're just like um the planks where you can trade in one resource for another and what's cool is like this is going to take a little while so you can be productive and actually let it build in the background while you can go around and get more resources and they're still going to come to you either way um let me find the sword upgrade one though because that's the one that we're missing uh, here it is and so we definitely want to get this this level of sword before we try to attempt any of that we now have everything we need um, which is great news and we're gonna see how oh we could actually do the next one which i'm tempted to just say yes yeah i'm just gonna do it because honestly that that underwater area is no joke and then you have wow we're not actually that far away like we could technically get the stuff for the next upgrade on the sword uh, my sword looks way beefier now, so I feel like I'm going to have a much better chance. Let's see how we can, let's see if we can take on this crab quite a bit easier than we could the first time. Um, this big guy over here, if we can get his attention. And I'm definitely going to try to get a charge shot, uh, charge shot in. Oh, hang on. Let's see. No, come back, buddy. I went too far. All right, let's see if we can get him back. If we can time this right, we can get the charge shot. And then, oh, wow, he's still pretty dang strong. This is this is definitely a bigger enemy than I was anticipating. All right, we might need to uh, <laughs> we might need to regroup here, regroup, retreat. I think we can kind of cheese him. We can probably, you know, basically lure him out um, each time and hit him with a charge shot each time. I'm, I'm willing to bet there's a way to get over to that part of the island, too. I can't quite tell if you can or not um, at this point. But you definitely want to hit him with as many charge shots as possible because he is no joke, um, does a lot of damage. But that charge shot does actually make quite a bit of uh, difference in his health. Um, so if we can avoid death, we are so close. And I'm curious to see what we're actually going to get from him. So we actually do want to kill him if at all possible. Nope. See, he's too fast when he runs away. All right. But we're just going to stay charged up and go over there. Fortunately, your health does um, come back relatively quickly in this game. Um, that is definitely a big bonus because, um, you know, if you can't kill him in the first shot, then you just kind of regroup and run away for a minute and then try to do it again. Uh, the only one thing that I will say, um, I do have to get used to making sure I have the right weapon because sometimes if you are running next to trees and resources and things, it, the game will want to auto switch it and then you want to make sure that you, you didn't, uh, you know, you're not going in with the wrong weapon, which you can obviously just hit them with the axe. It's not really a big problem at all. And you, okay, so you can actually just swim across to this island and we got 125 um, of our, uh, gosh, I forget the name of what these blue things are. It's not sulfur. It's the uh, it's one of the other ones. Azurite. That's that's what it is. OK, so um, before anything else, I think we have our things upgraded decently enough. So I'm going to try to see if we have enough to, to find out what's next in this part, because I have really been wondering what's going to happen. Um, and I think we're going to we're probably going to need more sulfur, aren't we? Yes, we are. And, you know, we might actually have to. Uh, I wonder if there's any other resources that we haven't even found yet we need to get to just to unlock that gate so i'm gonna go ahead and get some more sulfur and come right back so we can figure out what's behind that giant gate all right everyone moment of truth we may need more resources than are available to get this thing done and yes of course there is the big mystery one some red resource that we have not done yet so we have more work to do to get that gate open but we are going to do it before the end of this video so hold tight while i find out what the red resource is that we have to use to essentially get progress forward which i definitely want to see what's behind that gate so we're going to figure it out I do want to highlight one of the new areas quickly on our path while we are um, going for whatever that red resource is to open up the gate. We actually do have an entirely new portion of the island. So uh, where I was swimming through actually had yet another portal after we got past that key uh, key area. Uh, then we had to mine a bunch of more a bunch more sulfur to open up 
a yet another portal which then took us here so i mean you want to talk about variety of environments and it looks like we're going to have to get a lot of planks uh to kind of build this section out uh, i am also wondering uh if this is indeed the island that will give us that red resource because right out of the gate it looked like there was one that required six of them so i think it is uh, but i want to point out the amount of different types of environments in this game uh and here we go what is this red resource i think we finally have it um, so we can uh, look at our at our menu here and it looks like we have ruby so of course makes sense it's a it's a red ruby is what we're now trying to find in order to add on to that gate and we may even need another one past that so um, lots of different you know you're gonna have to basically play the game the way it needs to be played in order to get that stuff unlocked but I i'm very eager to find out what this game has in store for us behind that big hidden gate but along the way we found yet another environment to traverse so i wanted to point that out quickly all right since we last spoke i have a brand new outfit i took down a giant uh pirate boss battle that was very intense died uh, numerous times i will say that this game does pack a surprising difficulty uh punch now one thing i wasn't showcasing earlier is uh the fact that you can just go ahead and jog around by pressing down the left analog and that definitely makes a big difference for uh in terms of just uh general combat we are going to upgrade our sword again because i found out that uh, you want to have your sword as high leveled as possible some of the some of the enemies you encounter in uh, different areas as this game unfolds and progresses is crazy i also saved a gentleman that can build boats so we now have the ability to mount and traverse uh the waters way more freely so there's going to be a lot of new stuff that we have to uncover where we're at and that is why i'm starting to believe this demo this is just the demo guys i mean there's so much gameplay here uh, i'm starting to believe that we may not reach the end of this in the time for the video we're going to do moment of truth for the rubies i bet you there's going to be something else that i may have to indeed go get yes it's probably diamonds from the looks of it and so we're going to still have to do that just to figure out what this is which at this point in time i'm thinking may actually be the end of the demo content i guess we won't be able to find out um as of right now but guys when i tell you Go download my my little universe. Give the demo a shot. Just the demo alone is so much gameplay. I think you will be blown away by it. There is still a bunch of other stuff I need to go back to the other island and do. But now that I have this boat over here, um, there's all this. this, And we'll see. Look at that. See, here's diamonds right here. So we we actually now have our trail on how to find diamonds. But there's so, there's so many other things that you have to do. Um, it really, really honestly blown away by the amount of uh openness and possibilities in this game and you really kind of have to like figure out uh what you want to do and how you want to progress and traverse because the options are endless crazy really cool boss fights we're gonna get some nice materials by sailing the seas right here as we close out the video um, lots of fun and exciting gameplay to be had guys don't sleep on my little my little universe make sure you use my link in the description it will be out fully October 5th on Steam and Nintendo Switch um, so make sure you check it out on whichever platform uh, you want I definitely I'm just gonna say Nintendo Switch it, it is literally the perfect game for this because it's something that you can uh, you know chill out pick up and play in the background and kind of have fun relaxing times um, until you get into those boss battles at which point you will definitely need to use some strategy strategy uh to try to survive but yeah definitely let, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have heard of this game before um whether or not you're planning on picking it up uh, have you played any of the demo yet definitely share your initial early thoughts with me if you have um and then are you going to pick it up ultimately when it finally comes out on october 5th because uh, i certainly will be i i will say confidently that my expectations when starting the game compared to where they have been met to now after my initial gameplay uh very positive uh very very fun uh definitely more more addictive than i uh, assumed it would be uh so lots of positive things to say about my little universe but i want to hear from you guys at this point in the video uh personal thoughts and opinions on this game whether or not you're interested in it if it looks like it's up your alley or if not so regardless of your thoughts and feelings on everything we talked about today i do look forward to hearing from you all in the comments down below before you leave the video as i do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all around these topics Huge thanks once again to My Little Universe for sponsoring today's video. Go watch yesterday's video next if you haven't already, which is on screen right now. Also, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video.